I'm Susan Stripling, I'm a wedding and portrait photographer and I'm based out of Brooklyn, New York and Baltimore, Maryland. So I've been doing this for a long time. It's been over 20 years since I shot my first wedding and I never started on film, but when I got started, most everyone else was shooting film. So there wasn't an editing style, there was a film developing style if you had one. So when I first started shooting digital, all I was really doing was downloading JPEGs and giving those JPEGs to my clients. And then we hit the light and airy sort of time and I thought, wow, this is so beautiful, but this editing style doesn't fit with the way I shoot at all. So I was sort of at a loss for where to go. So once I decided I was kind of done following everybody else's style and I had to start coming up with my own editing style, what I actually really fundamentally realized was that I wasn't looking for an editing style, I was looking for a photography style. Because I really firmly believe that what comes out of my camera and the way I shoot and the way I light and the way I see should be reflected in the final frames. So I had to go all the way back and think about what inspires me as a photographer and it really goes back to my roots in theater. So the way I light things, it's very theatrical in nature. It's a lot of bright light, lots of spotlights, um, lots of drama in it. So when I was coming up with an editing style, I wanted something that was warm because my images are really warm and I wanted it to be very crisp and clean and truthful to the images that I was creating. My profile name with Imagine is clean and crisp because that's really what I want my editing style to be. I want all of the magic to be in how the images are created and then the final output just makes the images cleaner and crisper. So whatever your shooting style actually happens to be, it will come out true to what you've created, just this with that additional extra crisp pop that really makes them sing a little bit more. What I think makes my editing style unique is that it is not so much an editing style, but an editing enhancement. I think it makes it unique because it takes the base image that you've created and it just gives it that little extra pop. A lot of the files that come out of cameras, for, for me and just the way I see them, they tend to be a little cooler, a little greener, a little bluer. First of all, I try to adjust no settings. That's, that's my general goal is one day I want to shoot a wedding that comes completely out of camera perfectly. So I'm generally popping exposure just a little bit. I use a lot of very bright light, especially by windows. So a lot of times I have to bring down the exposure because I haven't exposed quite properly for the highlights on the face. I would say if I really had to think about it, the things I mess with the most are exposure, highlights, and blacks, just to make sure that everything has detail in the way that I want it to. The slider that I almost never touch is contrast. And I used to touch it a lot and I could never really figure out why. The blacks were too dark, the whites were too white, the highlights were blown out. And then I realized contrast was just too universal for what I was trying to do. So I dialed that back and now I use shadows and blacks and whites and highlights individually instead of just grabbing that contrast slider. And what I wish that someone had told me very, very early on when it came to building my own style is that you have to come up with your style of photography before you come up with your style of editing. If you want to be a light and airy photographer, you need to first examine your approach to photography, how you handle light, how you handle shadow, how you place your clients in relations to those things, and same thing on the flip side if you want to be dark and moody. So if you're trying to figure out your editing style, stop. Go back and figure out your photography style. And then once you've really dialed that in and as you're experimenting with it, start thinking as these images are coming out of my camera, what else do they need to make my vision really come to life? and that's where your style comes. The way I want my clients to feel with my edits is that I don't want them to notice the edits at all. I don't want them to look at the images and say like, oh, we really love your editing style. We really love you know, how you edited our images. We just want them to look at them and say, this is exactly what it looked like to be there on our day. My edits never differ. They are very consistent no matter what's going on because my shooting style is consistent no matter what's going on. And I don't want clients to look at perspective galleries or look at my website and see sort of a hodgepodge of edits all over the place. I want the whole thing to be really cohesive. And I want my work to be recognizable whether you're looking at an image of mine that was taken outside at noon or in a reception at eight o'clock at night. It's all got that clean, crisp lighting style, whether I've made the light, whether I found the light. So it generally doesn't differ because I try to keep my style consistent the whole way through.